In this video, we will introduce and define the documentation which related to stability, water type and weather type integrity. 1. Lines plan and offset tables. A document providing information on the hull form including appendages, superstructure and deck houses contributing to the buoyancy in the stability calculations. 2. External water type integrity plan. A document providing information on all external openings, air pipes, ventilators, hatches, doors, etc. of volumes affecting stability calculations. This information may be included in the freeboard plan. 3. Internal water type integrity plan. A document providing information on items affecting damage stability calculations, such as internal subdivision, possibility of progressive flooding from one compartment to another through internal openings, pipes, tunnels or ventilation ducts and pipes, ducts, tunnels in the damage penetration zone specified in the damage assumptions. 4. Stability Analysis The document stating the determination of the limiting maximum allowable vertical center of gravity VCG and eventually other limitations related to floatability and stability. 5. Preliminary Stability Manual a document providing general stability information, including documentation necessary to demonstrate compliance with the applicable rules and regulations. 6. Floodable length calculation and or subdivision index calculation. A document providing floodable and permissible length curves, calculation of permeability, criterion of service and factor of subdivision. 7. Preliminary damage stability calculation. A document providing all relevant damage stability information, including documentation necessary to demonstrate compliance with the applicable rules and regulations. 8. Grain Healing Moment Calculation A document providing the determination of the maximum allowable grain healing moments relative to displacement and vertical center of gravity VCG. The calculation should contain the mentioned limits, and in addition underlying data related to calculation of grain healing moments. 9. Preliminary Grain Loading Manual A document providing general grain stability information, including documentation necessary to demonstrate compliance with the applicable rules and regulations. 10. Inclining Test and Lightweight Survey Procedure A document providing all information for the specific ship necessary to conduct an inclining test or lightweight survey in accordance with the recommendations. 11. Inclining Test or Lightweight Survey Report a document providing the actual records from the inclining test or lightweight survey as well as calculation of lightweight data, weight, longitudinal center of gravity LCG and vertical center of gravity VCG. 12. Final Stability Manual A document providing the same content as the preliminary stability manual B050 however updated with respect to the approved lightweight data and any comments in connection with the preliminary approval. 13. Final Damage Stability Calculation A document that is the revised Preliminary Damage Stability Calculation B070 according to the approved light ship particulars after the inclining test or lightweight survey, and any comments in connection with the preliminary approval. 14. Final Grain Loading Manual A document providing the same content as the Preliminary Grain Loading Manual B090 however updated with respect to the approved lightweight data and any comments in connection with the preliminary approval. 15. Damage Control Plan A document including inboard profile, plan views of each deck and transverse sections to the extent necessary to show the location and arrangement of all items affecting the vessel's damage stability. 16. Damage Control Booklet a document providing the information required for the damage control plan B150. In addition, the damage control booklet should include general instructions for controlling the effects of damage. 17. Stability in the non-displacement mode. The document describing the stability of a vessel operating in the non-displacement mode. Details shall be agreed on in each separate case and may involve simulations and slash or model tests. 18. Freeboard plan. The freeboard plan shall provide a drawing of and information about the following deepest draft, arrangement and location of doors, side scuttles and windows, hatches, ventilators, air pipes, openings in sides, scuppers and sanitary discharges and garbage chutes, operation of valves for sea inlets and outlets, frame arrangements, guardrails and bulwarks, gangway, passageway, under deck passage and lifeline, ports and sides bow and stern.